Professor, I just want to talk about where it all started with you growing up in Bangladesh. And of course, you recognize the power of microfinancing. Where did that come from? It came from uh, frustration, uh, extreme poverty, people struggling for a little bit of food, a little bit of survival opportunity and so on. So uh, I was trying to see if I can make myself useful uh, to one of those people, how I can do that. I, I felt that teaching economics in the classroom uh, made me useless. I'm not good for anything because those theories that I teach in the classroom doesn't do anything for anybody. So I said, why don't they go out and see if I can be useful to somebody? So that was the beginning. And then one of the, those many things I did, I was trying to protect uh, people in the village from the loan sharks. So what I did, I started lending money myself, saying that you don't have to go to the loan shark and suffer for all the thing that he uh, imposes on you. You just take the money from me and you're okay. You return the money whenever you can, uh, but you don't have to suffer. So that's the way, I didn't think I'll do many people, I'll just few people with my money, whatever I can, out of my own pocket. So I started it, it became so popular. Everybody wanted to borrow money from me and I was very happy. So that was the beginning of the microcredit on the Finally, I, it became so big I, to create a bank out of it, called it Grameen Bank or Village Bank. That idea spread all over the world. What I did in the process actually challenged the entire banking system banking system, I raised the question, why you deny access to financial services to the half the population of the entire world? They're still con kind of describing, uh, explaining that it cannot be done, it's impossible to reach out to poor people, it's impossible to get the money back from them, it's no good, good business, it's not. I said, look, it works. They pay you back, it's no problem with you. Uh, only thing, you have to redesign your methodology, that's all. Collateral has to go. You have to go to the person rather than ask the person to come to you. And all those things. And focus on women, that's the best way to change uh, families and so on. So that's what exactly we did. We would reach, we reach the poorest people in the villages and put, uh, focused on women. And today we have over 9 million borrowers in Grameen Bank. In every single village of Bangladesh, 80,000 villages, it works. And as a result, almost every single family under the poverty line in Bangladesh are connected with finance, microfinance. So they've changed their own life out of that because you, if you have access to finance, you are in command of your own life. You are not at the mercy of other people. You are the, either at the loan shark or to find a job so that you can somebody give, pay you so that you can eat for the day. So you can command your own thing. You have the creative power to do that. And women demonstrated it very well, that human beings are entrepreneurs, basically. And that's the point, that's the lesson I learned, that human beings naturally are entrepreneurs. So I tell the young people, don't wait for jobs. Just rot, don't rot as an unemployed person. You have creative capacity, go ahead. Use your creative capacity as an entrepreneur. Not only you change yourself, you change the world in the process. Of course, you won the Nobel Peace Prize, you and Grameen Bank, in 2006. What was that moment like for you? It's an amazing experience. You never thought such a great thing can happen to you. You're always busy with those little things, all the criticism you have around yourself. Oh, it's a crazy thing to do. It's the wrong thing to do. It's, it's not banking, it's charity, all kinds of things. And you bear through that. You want to prove that it's, it's the right thing to do, it's an important thing to do. It's, it's, a, it's a denial of the right to people to uh, access to financial resources. Uh, so now suddenly it's being a, recognized by such an honor, by such an important award in the whole world. And it just shakes you up. And, uh, and then you, you get the prize and your creation get the prize. And it draws the entire world's attention. A lot more people want to know about it. A lot more people want to copy it in their country. So it's a, it's a very thrilling moment for anybody. Thank you for watching. And for more from CNBC International, just hit the subscribe button.